They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll bring you to the full episode. And of course, we have timestamp so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment if you want us to bring any topics uh, on the podcast that we talk about. Jeff, let's jump right into it. First and foremost, happy birthday! Yeah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yesterday was officially the one year mark of starting this podcast. That's far. That's crazy. I can't believe it. it's been a year. It's been a year. Jeez. Every Tuesday. You know, it's, no, it wasn't Tuesday. Originally, we would record Monday. Yeah, well, we so were doing we would Monday. Drop it Tuesday, but Monday is such a shitty day to even kind of like start that. And it was just us at the time. Right. But then when we started inviting people and letting them know it was going to be Mondays, and then we released it Tuesdays, uh-huh. it was difficult. So, uh-huh. what was it like? Mid August or September, we just decided let's just do it the day of. Are you sure it was mid August September? I felt like we kind of decided after the first five episodes. Oh, really? Maybe I'm wrong. Cause, well, because I said it just because um, we were discussing, oh, when we do go live, uh, we're going to do it the day of, or we're still going to do right, it the day Right, right. So we kind of wanted to get into that habit. Exactly. No, so we that. just did it the day of, so, and then we'll release it later on tonight. Um, and, of course, people will wake up the next day and listen to it, or they'll listen to it the night, the, the day that we release it. But uh, being live is going to be easier because people will just tune in right away. For sure, so, for um, sure, for sure. But no, no, no. Like I said, man, congrats on... It's been a hell of a year. Yeah, it has been. Ups and downs, technical difficulties, learning shit. Finding the motivation. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to... I was like, it's going to break <laughs> after how many... <laughs> you want to tell the story? I don't think we ever talked about it. I don't it. remember because I was the one who... Uh, uh, I was the perpetrator. In the well, because we were doing some research last year, and there basically uh, uh, there's something we read online that said once you hit the minimal of 25 episodes, was mm-hmm. it? Then you can start looking for sponsors. And we're like, all right, we're good. We uh, we're telling ourselves as soon as we hit the 25, we'll hit that mark. And I'm hitting the 25, and I'm like, nah, man, we can keep. This on. feels off. Right. Yeah, we can keep going, and then. After we're done, we we close we turned off the cameras and all that, and you're like, all right, that's it, right? We're taking the we're break. We're going on break. <laughs> you're like you're like we're going on, you're like we're going on break, and then as as soon as Tuesday hits, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm oh like, man, I'm I said like, I said nah, bro. We keep we're we're going. That's like you full of shit. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm, I'm bullshit. Bro, I wanted to go on break so bad. I don't know, man. I feel like in the beginning you were. Way more motivated. Because this was like, I'll be honest, this was your idea. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was just like, in my mind, I was like, oh man, we finally get to go on break and then just kind of milk the, the first 25. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you even talking about. I'll just run ads on like the first 25 yeah. episodes for like the next three months. Because right. I was in my mind, I was thinking, oh, we should probably do seasons. But I, then it was just like. Mm, not really, because something's yeah. always popping off. Yeah, every single week. Well, yeah, and that's why you always have. That's why you always have the podcast because something right. always is popping off. There's yeah. never a break in in life or society. Right, so right, it's right. Like You got to constantly either cover it or bring it up on the mm-hmm. next topic. Because mm-hmm. especially the guests that we invite, they'll bring it up, and then we'll be like, "All right, let's do." Before we get into this topic, we'll do. Um, excuse me, some research on it just to find out what's going on with that. So. That's fine. But yeah. But no, man, yeah, it's been a long one year journey. I know like um it, it's it's been amazing and of course the, we're going in for another year. Right. Hopefully we'll be further along than we were last year, which we are. Compared to last year, we are like way further along. And then of course we've gained many ideas, um, growing it even more. I think the biggest enemy in all that 
in terms of motivation was like myself. What do you mean? Like I got in my own head mm -hmm. a lot where it was just like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Even though your boys were telling you that you were right, like, encouraging like, you and stuff like that? You know, they were like encouraging me. And they're like, oh, you know, this is pretty cool and da da da. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know. In my mind, like, it was just the whole, oh, I feel like we should be doing more. We should be, but then I think about it and it's like, you look at everyone who's ever started a podcast or any type of media production. Yeah. And it's like, even on like a professional stage, right? Like, pre, oh, ooh. Not primetime television, but, like, daytime television, right? Yeah. Mom started watching... Abner? No, not Abner. Well, Abner's a good example, uh -huh. but he's more, like, kind of pre-recorded. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we it. do. Yeah, like we do. But, like, in terms of, like, daytime television. Uh, what's her name? Kelly Clarkson? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Ke Ke American, Ar American Idol, American right? Idol, yeah, Like, her yeah, first yeah. season, the whole Kelly show, it was just, like... It was her trying to figure out how this can work like you know? yeah what's her audience you mm -hmm. know what's the material like like mm -hmm. what's interesting topics we can talk about same thing with drew barrymore when she started her own show too drew is this is that still running yeah that's still going yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. it's because because it's like you kind of need of course them to replace daytime television cause yeah because was oprah's there. gone and, and everyone's El gone ellen's gone yeah. so everyone's ellen gone. hired uh kelly clarkson and right. then um i think um um, Drew Barrymore started her own thing, or she's probably under contract by somebody else right, right. to replace the other two. So. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, yeah, maybe like three or four years down the road, there will be a common household name. Like, mm -hmm. oh, did you watch da da da? Or mm -hmm. here's a clip from season three of Kelly Clarkson. You know, it's the same thing with when Ellen started. Yeah, she you did. She, she literally went 25 and then ended it. Right. It, it just, it, it was like, it was bummy. Yeah. You know, like that's his simple as i can say it was mm -hmm. it was bummy you know even with uh who else is another good one not just ellen but like dr Frank. oh the view oh the is that is that still going of course it is come on bro. man that's like bro they've been here since like 2003 i think i don't know i'm just kind of like that was kind of like the first time i really they're like literally off my radar but they were sitting they were literally sitting in like a living room set up with like old people couches and shit you know what I'm saying? And then they would just gossip about shit. Yeah, they still gossip, but it's, I don't know, it's more mainstream, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, back in the day, they kind of just talked about, like, you know, like drama and daytime television and shit like that. But August 11, 1997 was the, the view? first episode. Yep. Wow. 1997? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm way to fuck off. Currently on their 26th season, show aired on ABC as part of the network's daytime programming block since August 11, 1997. Jeez. And Bar Barbara o uh, Walters was the OG, yep. right? Yeah, she's, I feel that. She's the only one that was there until she retired. Until she retired. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. So but Yeah, so it's just, just kind of like, of course, that, that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. Like, the only person stopping you from growing yeah. is you. You know what I'm saying? So of course, yeah, for sure, definitely, and um, and uh, that that kind of leads to what we were kind of talking about um, before before this, and then uh, uh, like a video that we watched um, yesterday or the day before, I, I, I believe, where um, like you said, you're the only person that can stop yourself, right? And and in in today's society, we we notice that uh, a lot of people place themselves in boxes and they try to blame. Or try to put the weight on. This goes back to one of our first conversations we had. Yes, if I could remember it's a choice. correctly, that's when I that's why I made that that bold statement where I said everything in life is a choice. Where you put yourself, where where you're at, or where you can bring yourself to. Right. Be. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, some along the lines of yeah, of course. Like, there are systems that are in place that you know will work against you. Of course. But you should just understand that as that is the fact of life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, the main motivating factor for anything, any advancements, mm -hmm. is money. Money talks more than of course racism or yeah. sexism. It's like a lot of these corpo heads want money. And why would they jeopardize making more money by being... By bringing up the fourteen protected right. categories, 
Right, by discriminating against uh -huh. protected categories. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But then again, it can work in their favor. Because it's like, the people who pay you, who make you, who give you the money, it is your consumers. Prime example, look at what happened with Bud Light. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. As sad as that is, but that that's kind of what that is. Yeah, and it, and it's like they're, they're, they're major consumer-based or, or getters and in, in white males, unfortunately, that mostly drink Bud Light. So it's like um, to bring in the, the small minority that really doesn't, probably doesn't care about that beer, but it's all about the representation. The representation. The representation of it. You kind of just, um, how do you say... Um, but not excluded your, your fa not your fan base, but how do you say that? You uh, eliminated. No, 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 no. You uh, not ostracized. I can't remember. I know. I know. Yeah, what you're yeah. To do, you right? you kind of you kind of threw your your main consumer to the side to focus on, which is I'm not saying that that minority is insignificant, but to to focus on that minority that probably really doesn't drink that beer. Right. Um, that 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 kind of takes a ding on it, but again, like you said, money talks. Money talks. So they don't care. So the people you lost, yes, you're gonna lose money, but now you're gonna bring in other people who are like, oh, you know, people who 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 kind of do the whole um, what you call it, the the uh, what what's the word I'm looking for? Virtue signal. Oh, like, okay. Right, right. People yeah, yeah, yeah. who who eat who eat into that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's yeah. like take my money because you're virtue you're, signal. You're virtue signal. Yeah, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I feel like both sides of the aisle it's just kind of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you're gonna stop drinking a beer you like because of the person that's on the beer or of, what it of what imagery it. and representation. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. You're gonna make your life worse. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta drink Mick Ultra. <laughs> it's even lighter than Bud Light. Oh man, <laughs> you're gonna diminish the quality of your life. Yeah, because of that beer, of the beer, yeah. and who and, and who they're representing, and yeah. it's just like. And then it's they're so gonna be sad, like, you don't understand. Bro. It's fucking sad. They're, they're gonna bro. be like, they're gonna be like, you don't understand. It's deeper than that, but it's like you're 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 placing yourself. Ideology is such a sheep bullshit thing. Bro. I know. I, I fucking know. And it's hate like, it. And it's bro. like, I hate it. It's like, why is your entire being defined by, like, this liquid, <laughs> or anything in general? <laughs> anything in general? No, I get it. I get like it. why? <sighs> That's crazy to me. Yeah. So That's crazy. No, to but me. no, but for real, it, it, it's like you're gonna stop doing something because of. Uh, the representation behind it it's it, it, and it's not like you can still drink it it's not like they're shoving the ideology down your throat it's just on the can they're just trying to bring representation to it because it's money it's a consumer right it's a consumer it's thing a consumer and it goes thing. back to what i said previously where yeah. it's like on the other side it's like it's bullshit yeah it's like we're going to take a plight and capitalize off of it mm -hmm. it goes back to the whole member of the kylie jenner coke Black Lives Matter shit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna stop police <laughs> violence with a can of fucking when Coke. Was it Coke or it Pepsi? Pepsi? It was Pepsi. With a can of Pepsi. It was Pepsi. It's like it's bullshit all around, yeah, bro. It was Pepsi. Like I'm not even here to be on some fence riding both sides bullshit. It's just like it's exhausting and it's lame. Yeah, and it's, it's like, lame. It's like get a life, bro. Like there's shit more important than what represents. Like oh, I feel. Uh, Oh man, I'm oppressed because of this. So this is my issue, it, it, and it's like this: if if people continue to have this um, victim mindset, or right. the they put me in a box, so no, you put yourself in a box, or to them, right? They put them in a box, so now I have to fight this thing that I was not probably even interested in before because they put it in the forefront of my face or again you can choose to move forward focus on yourself and what's more important to you mm -hmm. and try to get yourself out of certain situations as in poverty mm -hmm. um trying to create a business trying to have a, a fruitful life all that stuff like that instead of focusing on things that don't matter because remember 
they'll put things they know will trigger a lot of people on the news it's all or social media outrage uh, exactly Every- <laughs> it's it's it, it for me it, it's like a victim mindset and and that gets aggravating sometimes it is it's so fucking but it's the other way too because it's like but if you're easily influenced like what, I, did, what did I say earlier right it's either Edge lords or overly sensitive people. Yes. There's no middle ground. Yes. There's no gray area. Yeah, because I know you were talking about right. a, a video game that... Right. Or it's hyper-realistic or something yeah. like that. Yeah, Sorry. and it's about cops hunting down um, gang members, but it's like a hyper... It's hyper-realistic. Hyper-realistic video It almost game. looks like a first-person body camera. Yeah. Like, so, if what, there's one way I could describe it was like... Uh, probably was it four or five years ago? Mm-hmm. If you were ever on the internet during that time where a lot of these mass shooters were like live streaming their crimes and yeah, shit before they can block it or take before it before they can block, like that's what it looked like. Mm-hmm. Like the game was so hyper realistic. I'm like, and then you asked me, you're like, so what's the point of this? I'm like, the main goal of this should be to kind of push the the the. The limitations. The limitations of... Because you can play Call of Duty all the live long day, right, but you can tell that's not processing. real. Yeah. And I was like, the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't need to be hyper-realistic. Mm-hmm. And then I ask, why do you why do you feel... Right. I was like, it just doesn't need to be... Like, you have to be mindful. It, it, it's, it doesn't go... To, I'm not saying, oh, you're soft, you're sensitive, or... You know, you're you're a tough guy, you're an edge lord. It's the just like of the extreme. Yeah, it, it it doesn't have to be an extreme. Why can't you just be mindful and be like, okay, this might be too realistic for some people. Mm-hmm. This might be too traumatic for some people. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And 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 there's never a middle ground. It's either ban it outright for everyone, or you're soft. You're X Y Z. This generation soft. Be a man. Yeah. And it's like, no. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it, it's not that black and white. You know what I'm saying? And I always said there's a lot of games where there's hyper violence, but you can visually see the 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 separation of okay, this is a game. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto, you can tell it's a game. That's why people do whatever they want. Right. You can do like it just makes sense that it is a game. Mm-hmm. Like th- some things just don't work out in reality the way you work in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. It's an overly exaggerated version of the shitty side of reality yeah you see what i'm saying but you can tell it's a game because the developers aren't putting that much effort to make it realistic they're just trying to make it fun fun exactly. but if your goal is just to make a slaughterhouse game where it's just like i'm shooting people and the physics and the the the, the imagery looks like real people mm-hmm. like what the fuck is the point yeah you see what i'm saying i understand if you're using it for filmmaking you could kind of take out the yeah, because, the idea of like mm-hmm. stunt doubles and you know like uh, using live firearms and shit. On, yeah, to on keep set. them safe, you just know, so keep, people don't get accidentally right, right, shot right. or stunt doubles actually right. can't get killed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? but it's just like just to make a game because it's hyper realistic. Because now you're you, you're eliminating the line in the sand of what is acceptable mm-hmm. in terms of what is allowed in in gaming media yeah because i i remember you said they're they're kind of crossing the line right with that and then i i asked you to elaborate on that i said what do you mean by crossing the line because i said the first thing that a lot of people are going to do is defend the game and say um well you're too soft and then no you're just being an edgelord y- yeah that's, that's, a, that's you're what just i'm being saying an edgelord. that's what i'm saying and it, like i i truly believe people who want who who search for visceral reactions out of people, you know, just to feel some type of joy mm-hmm. by making someone uncomfortable or shitting on someone because they don't have the same mental My, mindset. That yeah, you mindset that you have because you're okay with hyper violence. Everyone should be okay with hyper violence. Yeah. Well, humans fucking evolve. We don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like that's why I don't understand the whole oh. Um, Men are blah blah blah. We need to go to war and kill. For what? We're for fucking pe- what? For a peaceful time. You know what I'm saying? We have technology for that. As fucked up as that sounds. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, the less people that are dead, the further we can advance. Mm-hmm. Like, you really want to go back and have to reinvent soap and reinvent the internet? Yeah. And reinvent shit that 
millions of people died, you know, to achieve. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That beer that you like so much, you know, what if that guy went to war? You know, that, mm -hmm. that TV show that you like so much, what yeah. if that, the video games that you play all the yeah. time, what if those people went to war and died? You'd never fucking have it. Yeah. You just want to live in the jungle, beat your chest, and smell like asshole all day? Like, come on. Like, be for real. No, no. I hate like, you. be I for hate real. You. Like, all this edgelord shit is so whack, bro. Mm -hmm. It's so whack. And, then, and, and I can say the same thing for, like, the hypersensitive shit. Because it's like, you bubble wrap people the time when danger actually happens. You can't critically think because you have no idea what the fuck it is. Yeah. Or how to even solve your own problems. Mm -hmm. It should just be a balance of, okay... Work this out yourself or learn the realities of the world, the nuances of the world, understand the systems that are in the world and learn how to navigate them mm -hmm. and avoid the systems that will hurt you. If you don't interact with them, you won't get burned. Yeah. Now, if it seeks you, okay, there, then you can go and look for protection and laws and, of course, you know, and shit yeah. like that. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the base root of the law, like prime example, right? Let's say, okay, we're an open carry state now. Doesn't matter if I'm a transgender person, a gay person, if I'm if I'm black, a black if white, white, if I'm a getter, if I'm it does not fucking matter. If someone threatens my life, I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Yeah. That's the base understanding. But this is but this is the problem though. And this is this this goes back to the first conversation we were having about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. They're gonna try to check a box to start an agenda. Because look Let's say I shoot, like you say, it doesn't matter what I am. Right. If you threaten my life to the point where I have to pull out my firearm right. and shoot you, I shoot you. But they're going to transition that to, well, this was a gay person or this was a transgender person. Or this Regardless was of what the agenda is, the law is the, the fucking law. law. Exactly. But yeah. again, the media twists it so they can focus on... Well, fuck on, the media. That, yeah. that, and, and that's where it leads and into. The, and that's what kind of pissed me off with the whole uh, school shooting when they shot the three kids and the three teachers. Uh, the three the three teachers. If you were watching Bill Maher, on yeah, Bill of course Maher, they that, blew it up and they're like, yeah. oh, trans people are violent." It, no, well, no, just, the guy came on and said, "Well, they they mis they misgendered, uh, they misgendered her by saying it's a him." And but her, you see how it, it, he was focused on that on that instead of yeah oh, identity politics exactly instead of it's a shit person doing a shit, shit thing thing yeah to, to innocent people. people for no reason. You see what I'm saying? If we could just look at it, at, this is the base reality of it, and take out the identity of it. Mm -hmm. It's a human being a shit human. Identity politics is what's killing right. people. Right. It's, it's just a, hu a shit human being a shit human. Yeah. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. To put the identity politics detracts from what the actual issue is. Mm -hmm. If See, now, I understand if you were for, like, gun rights or against, you know, certain type of yeah. weapons. That's dealing with the law itself. Mm -hmm. But when you start bringing the identity of certain individuals, the law should work 100% for every single exactly. person. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Granted, that's wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you do everything right, you know, most of the time it'll work out for you. Of course. And, and, the, and the idea is, okay, like, let's say, what was it, trans people make less than 1%? Of the population? Yes, less than 1%. Just less than 1%. Yeah. But yet, it's the biggest... It's like the they said earlier, the satanic panic. Yeah. They took a small minority... Of people. Of people, and then, like, blended in together with religion and mm -hmm. media and, you know, bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then now it's like they're trying to change whatever this is. And also the crazy thing is too, if you look at it this way, it's less than 1%, yes, but because the media puts it on right. there, people think it's right. the entire world, right. and it's not. It's literally right. a minority of people. Mm -hmm. Like, I, li I go to work day to day, you go to work day to day, we live our day to day lives, and we don't encounter or, or re notice any of these um, any of uh, these specific uh, issues that come up with the whole misgendering or um, uh, saying their pronouns wrong, it, all you hear it for all you hear is social media, mm -hmm. the news. All you hear is about that. But day to day life in, in where we're at in Florida, you never hear anything about that. It probably happens. I'm not saying it doesn't, but from our perspective and mm -hmm. our personal experiences, mm -hmm. it's not like it's prominent. Mm -hmm. People make it seem like it is, so they think like. Everything is being attacked because the less than one percent of 
the LGBTQ community is is dealing with all that that type of stuff. So it's, it's just crazy to me that stuff like this is that's how come they always say don't watch the news all the time because it's always going to be negative. Right. There's nothing positive about there's some some positives about the news, but most of the news is uh, focused on neg negatives because negative is what makes money. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So for people to pr prominently think like the, the whole Bud Bud the whole Bud Light thing, mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of it in, in the stores down here mm -hmm. in Florida. And it's been going on for about, what, a month and a half, two months now? So it's like people think it's it's attacking it's, everywhere. Right, it's bigger than it, it is. Yeah, it's, it's bigger not, than this, and, and it's, it's not. not. And it's not. It's just certain areas, certain states, in certain towns, but it's not the entire United States. Ugh. That shit's tough. It is tough. That shit's tough. And, and, and that's like, it's like you... I, I I know a couple of trans people who live in Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You live in Florida. The Florida laws, like, granted, the ones that are actually singling them out, uh -huh. and that comes from the head of state. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I can understand the protesting in that where it's like, now, oh, what was it? Gender affirming care is like violence or some shit like that. Oh yeah, like if they do it underage, right? Underage, yeah. it's violent. Wait, yeah, wait till they um, hit eighteen, so right. they can actually, yeah. But like in terms of the the victimization, where it like people are seeking out trans people and attacking them and committing acts against them, like motherfucker, well, you know you could get a gun too, right? Yeah, that gun gonna protect you the same way it's gonna protect the straight person, a yep. non-binary person, a gay person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you gonna <laughs> victimize me because of my gender, my skin color, mm -hmm. or my sexual orientation, mm -hmm. you can try. Yeah. You can try. But that hollow point got something to say. But see, this, this is the problem. They watch one thing on the news, and then they'll go looking for that trouble. That doesn't that. exist. That. Let, that person will be doing completely nothing, eating lunch, mm -hmm. talking with a friend, uh, working. Right. And you'll go look for that person mm -hmm. just to start that. Right. Thinking that that one person is attacking the entire country. Right. But it also works the other way. Yeah, Where true. it's like true. the edgelords will actively seek an individual that represents the ideology that they hate. Yeah. And purposely, purposefully attack them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, and they can influence the masses so it, right. it, it sends them their right. way. So, you see what I'm so they have this phobia of, of oh my God, my beliefs are being attacked, so I have to do something. And it's like, no, nah, you're good. You're good. It's literally less than 1% of the entire world. It's crazy, man. Well, well, and it's tough. How does it feel to be a fucking sheep? That sucks, <laughs> bro. That sucks. <laughs> like, seriously, man. That shit gives me heartburn to know that people wake up every day pissed because of what the news told them. Yep. Because of what the news told them to feel. Yep. Instead of actually, like, dealing with the real issues in the fucking world. Yeah, and they're so brainwashed that every t even if a logical person or a sound person or grounded person tries to have a conversation with them, they refuse to listen because this is what the news say, so they're correct. When we've learned that the news is opinionated, it's not fact. It's what their people tell them to read in order to pull out whatever agenda that they want you to focus on. To get more investors, to get, to get more eyes. Exactly. At the end of the day, exactly. it's green. They don't care, care about you. What gives us more ratings? They don't care about you. I don't care if you're conservative or liberal. They don't care about exactly. you. Exactly. They just want you pissed what gives so you, you can spend money. Exactly. And what gives you more ratings? So you can spend controversy, money, controversy, negativity, bullshit, all that stuff like that. Bullshit. So it's like you're ignoring all the good that's going on. You're ignoring what you can do better in your life. You're ignoring all that stuff just to focus on something that's not even in your hometown. Mm -hmm. And if it is, it's like one out of 1,000 people. That's what I'm saying. It is 300 million, 350 million motherfuckers in, in the, the United country, States. Bro. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. So that's crazy. Like, to me. That's crazy to me, bro. That's crazy. If one person does not want to serve you or or cater to you because mm -hmm. of your identity, mm -hmm. go to someone that will. Yep. Why do you want them? Like, why are you seeking their approval? But this is the problem. This is the first thing that they do. They pull out the phone. And they start recording. And then a whole new thing starts. That's crazy. And a whole new thing starts. 
That's crazy. It's like some people, and I'm not saying um, they're soft or anything like that. It's like, ooh, sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. It's like prime good. example. Remember the whole uh, abortion thing last summer? Yes, that we were having a conversation with Caleb about. Every single bill is being struck down or uh, uh, postponed mm-hmm. because it infringes on rights. Yeah. It infringes on women's rights. And that's just the common sense in it. Yeah, exactly. But there was just this whole, like, you get what I'm saying? March, all that stuff like that, yeah. No, you I get what I'm saying? No, I and it's just like the Supreme Court, the highest court, not not the state courts. Like, they kind of, the Supreme Court has the final say because anyone can sue or block or whatever. Yeah. Like, it went to the higher courts, and they're like, nah, this is stupid. Because, of course, there's going to be a domino effect. You pass stupid laws for stupid reasons. Stupid yeah. things happen. And of people, course. And people who have their head on straight aren't just looking at, oh, I'm passing this law to get back at this group of people. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all petty politics, petty laws and shit like that. Like, they, they pass bills, they pass laws, like, as retribution. Not really to move anything or achieve progress. It's just to create conflict. Right. To create conflict or regression. Yeah. And it's like, we, what? What? That's and, crazy. And, and to me, that's my, that's my biggest issue. So that's, that's how come it's like, it's like, we've gone through shit, mm-hmm. pers- personally. Mm-hmm. We've gone through shit. But do we let that hold us back? Do we put ourselves in a box? Do we give ourselves that victim mindset? Or do we tell ourselves we're going to overcome it, we're going to do better, right. and we're going to be better as people? Right. That's the problem. This is, and I and I think I said this before. We are the United States, but we are more divided than anything else because there's constantly new boxes that people are being checked in because they want to belong to something, something. so bad. They want to so be bad. wanted so exactly, and that holds bad. them. Not only is that like a victim mindset, but that holds them from progressing and doing what they got to do. If we were all literally united, we can move forward with whatever. But we're constantly separate. The base of it, we're just human. Exactly. And and they can't see that. It's like, I got to be special. Yeah. I got to be the one. I got to belong to this group. I got to belong to this group. It's just like, bro, if aliens came in here, we'd all be fucking roaches. Exactly. (laughs) We'd all be roaches. They look at you. I'm black, cisgender, da, da, da. And they're going to be like, okay, roach. (laughs) Okay, roach. (laughs) What the fuck does uh, that mean? Wah, 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 wah. Exactly. Dead. Dead. None of it. You're means. fucking dead. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because they of don't it. care about the census. They don't care about the total population. Yep. They're here for resources. Yes. You're here Imagine for- we go to Mars and we find a fucking microbe or some shit like that. You think we give a fuck? No. Do you think we care about the genders of every single fucking caterpillar that we come across? No. Oh. No. We're just gonna chop the fucking tree down. <laughs> And plant our seeds. <laughs> and plant our <laughs> seeds. <laughs> no, I agree. No, for real. You I see do. what I'm saying? So it's just like, damn, man. How are we so like... Off? How are we so smart and dumb at the same, same time, time, bro? We're so off. I, I don't... Gosh, man. That's tough. And it's frustrating. It's That's frustrating. tough. At the end of the day, I'm going to talk to you like a human being. I don't care what you look like. How yeah. tall you are, skinny you are, what you got between your legs... But yeah, it's just like, and that's bro. and that's the conversation, and that's the. But no one wants to have that conversation because then you're taking away their my gold star. My, Look my, at me, my I'm part box. of this exclusive club. I'm part of this, that you're not a part of. Look at the benefits that I get. It's but I think like, the worst part is. Shit. But I think the worst part is, like I said, I'll treat every human being like they're a per, like a like a human being. A human being. But if I don't align with your beliefs, you automatically check me off. Right. Because I don't agree. I not I don't agree. I'm not on the same agenda as you. I said, why can't we just have a conversation? Right. Why do I need to name you this or? be on your your program Mm -hmm. or do this i just want to have a conversation with you exactly i just want to i don't want to and then once i understand your thought process i didn't make the decision all right i'm just not gonna talk to you anymore i don't hate you i'm just not gonna talk Talk to you you anymore anymore. exactly because it's just like that's what it is i'm just not gonna be in that space Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying where that shit takes place Mm -hmm. you know i will i like 
I will speak on humans as humans. Mm-hmm. Like, you ask me, who is this person? I'm going to tell you their characteristics, their personality, blah, blah, blah. But their gender but this is the problem and but all this, that shit this is the problem me. this is the problem let's say you meet a let's say you meet a um, person and it might not happen it might happen but the the people who hang around that doesn't necessarily happen people lead with their checked boxes right instead of who they are right like i am a this 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 i want to be named like this and this is what happened to me. This is why I'm oppressed. This is the reason why I'm not. You want to know we should start leading with instead what? of all that bullshit? Like if we really want to talk about identity politics, uh-huh. we should lead with our mental state. <laughs> How fucking crazy are you? No, absolutely. My name is blah, blah, blah. I'm autistic. I'm a sociopath. I believe in blah, blah, blah. I'm a narcissist. That's way more descriptive than what you're trying whatever you're yeah. going to tell me. No, I agree. You see what I'm saying? Like, because now I know how to deal with you as a person. Mm-hmm. And now I can understand your thought process and what your ideology Instead is. Instead of trying to figure out your thought process right. and your ideology. Instead of you just spewing bullshit to my face and it's just yeah. like, it's- let me know what your mental capacity and your mental state is. Mm-hmm. Let me know. Like, it's just. And when did that shift happen? I don't care when that shift happened. <laughs> I don't care. Because if you don't know what's going on in here, then none of this shit matters. Because I, I, as soon as Paul, I always say you're saying a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah. If you don't know how, like, what your faults are in, in your way of thinking, then everything that comes out of your mouth doesn't matter. It means nothing. No, I get it, man. Because it, it, now you're just a parrot. Yeah. Instead of really thinking for yourself. And understanding why you think that. Mm-hmm. I could have a shitty opinion and understand it's wrong. Mm-hmm. But I know why I feel that way yeah. and why I think that way. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can tell you, well, this is the reaction that I get. Yeah. There's an innate reaction when XYZ happens mm-hmm. or when I experience XYZ. This is the innate reaction that I have. Yeah. Because, blah. You know? There's... I want to change it. It's not that I hate you or I dislike you, yeah. but this is the reaction that I have because blah. Well, see, I can give you a perfect example. Is like, uh, was it two years ago the Ukraine war started to go? Has it been? Has no, it, it's only been a year. A year? A year ago when the Ukraine war started in our liquor store, we had Russian vodka. Some of the Russian vodka didn't even come from Russia, but because they didn't want to offend the people... They removed all the Russian vodka from the shelf. You see how crazy that is? That's crazy. Because if if, if a customer came in and said, why you... we've been, And I always say this. In the United States, not just here, we have been supporting Russian products forever. Right. All of a sudden, it's an issue because the war started. Right. What changed? And even the war doesn't represent all the Russian people. Exactly. That's what's crazy exactly. as fuck to me. That's just crazy as hell to me. Dude. You have one like, man oh. forcing all these men to die for something that they don't believe in, and you're sitting there putting the entire country, you're you're grouping the entire country as one. Half of these Russians were even going on the news and saying, we don't support this war, all this stuff, this and that, and they get arrested or right. treason and all right. that. You're betraying your own country. They it's the media, care. the talking heads, and they the government. They didn't care, right. though. That's what I'm saying. It's the media, but, the talking heads, But that's, that's, that's kind of a perfect example. And it's like, we're so, like you said, it's either you're super sensitive or you're a super asshole. And it's like, for all the people that are super sensitive, we had to stop selling Russian vodka when half of the Russian vodka didn't, didn't even come, come from, from Russia. Russia. That's what was crazy to me because I was talking to my liquor clerk at the time and she's like, yeah, this vodka doesn't even come from Russia. It's made right It's made right here in the United States in this state, but because it has the Russian name, it's a Russian vodka. You know, it's crazy. Most of that war is not being even funded by like consumer goods. It's being funded by elites yep. in Russia. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me, man. So it's just shit like that. Like that that that's what just Golly, man. No one's objective anymore. 
No. Every, like, it's yeah, not even it's all like, subjective. Right. It's literally all subjective. And it's I think all subjective. And I think the, 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 the issue is if if most of if some Americans would get their thumbs out their ass and actually focus on what's real, then they can actually solve their own problems. But instead they're worried about the rest of the world. Can we solve mental health? But that's what I'm saying. They're so worried about everything else. Like I said, we are more divided than we are united. And I think the issue is if we all took our, if most of us took our thumbs out of our asses and actually focused on what really. You know what I think would solve all this? What? What I just said. Figuring out mental health. <laughs> mental health. That's it. Yeah. That's what would solve everything. What is this need to be in so many different categories? In so many different categories. No matter what it is. And why does it hurt you when it it's questioned? When it's questioned or when it's not what you are. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Like that's just Because like you said, before twenty sixteen Something shifted. Something changed. Something shifted. Ooh, Nothing, wow. I'm not saying none of these uh, these things existed. They were there. They just weren't in the forefront. Now they're in the forefront. So <clears throat> I'll be honest. It was the election. That's it. It was. That's it. Like I'm not even gonna bullshit it. Yeah. Me personally, I believe it was the election. The election is what. It shifted just kind of brought all the the troglodytes and all the <laughs> all the on both sides. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just brought the worst people on both sides out of, out the, of, picture. Out of the picture. Yeah, out of the woodwork. You know what I'm saying? And we got to deal with the aftermath and kind of clean up, you know. Because, like... It's like when you shift There something. are people... A majority of Americans are tired of both of it. Yeah. They're tired of both of it. It's just like... I. It's not even... They don't care anymore. Exactly. It's like when COVID... It's like, I don't care if he's trans, but I also don't care that you're trans. Just exist. Yeah. Just live your life. Yeah. I don't care that you hate that he's trans. Just leave them alone. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Why do you have to keep making it? Why do you it? have to keep making it a issue. fucking, like... Issue. Issue. Yeah. Just leave them the fuck alone, bro. Yeah. Just leave people alone bro my goodness and whoever is gravitated toward them they will they will be a community amongst themselves yeah and those that accept them and those that aren't them but still accept them yeah see what i'm saying why does it fucking matter why are you looking over the fence it's none when, of your business it's none of your business yeah it's that's none of your fucking business stay out of people's business mind your damn business yeah. that's the problem people don't mind a damn business because the thing is, most of them aren't shoving their ideologies down their throat, but they're entering into those ideologies, which is then being shoved down their throat. Right. And then they're trying to say, oh, they're shoving the ideology. No, you opened the door and walked in it. Nobody told you to walk in the door. You chose to walk in the door. It's like me creating a boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear this uh, this no, uh, analogy like, like they'll create a boogeyman and then be like like i'm the one who created this boogeyman yeah but now i'm the victim of the boogeyman the boogeyman is that you create that i create yeah you see what i'm saying and then it's just like like i said it's just this panic like they just spread this panic mm -hmm. you know and it's dumb and you've seen it throughout history you know what i'm saying ufos satanic panic yeah having the salem witch trials mm -hmm. all they had to do was say you're a witch and that's it they'll just burn you at the stake regardless of those all they, if they, if they didn't even like you they would yeah. say you're a witch that's all they had to say you were a witch mm -hmm. and it's just like damn when you're doing science it's witchcraft witchcraft bro see how crazy that do is you see how people be holding people mm -hmm. back bro and it's people who don't mind a damn business, bro. <laughs> Hell, man. Mind your hey, yo, what the business, fuck? bro. Mind your business. That's the problem. Like I said, that is literally the problem. I think, like I said, we have a... Motherfuckers always trying to save niggas, bro. <laughs> Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> I was trying to... Man. That's crazy. That's so, crazy. There's the extreme spectrum of things and there's the soft spectrum of things. The sensitive right. spectrum of things. And I think, right. like you said, if we, we found common ground... In in this entire thing, we would not be so divided. Instead, we would be united as um, we should, but we're not because 
instead of fixing our own problems or our own issues, we're jumping into everybody else's problems and everybody else's issues. That's crazy. You see, and I'm not just talking about United States wise, I'm talking about globally. Yeah. Too, it's a US thing. Yeah. It's a US so, thing. So I mean but damn. it's a US thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we're so liberal in thinking we feel entitled to liberate other people's way of Liberation. thinking. Liberation. You see what I'm saying? Like, of course at the end of it, like if you're committing acts of violence against people, mm -hmm. political violence, yeah. physical violence against people because mm -hmm. of what you believe they represent, you're a piece of shit. Or what they told you to believe. Or what they told you to believe, you're a piece of shit. At the end of the day, you're a piece of shit. Because then you're just a mindless drone following right. what everybody else right. says instead of having the free... Right. Uh, thought or critical thinking for yourself. It's you are another sheep in capitalism. Exactly. And they just found another way to milk your ass. Mm -hmm. Milk your ass. Meanwhile, you can't afford housing. You can't afford health care. Yep. And you're just going to milk You don't you. have a good job. Your, you don't have your, a good your job. rent is expensive. Your Why rent's you? expensive. Why aren't you fighting for that? Yeah. Hmm? Why don't we start living good now? Huh? Why don't we start doing that? But then they're going to try to connect what's oppressing them to why the rent is high why inflation is up why this and that so it's like a delusional mindset of thinking by telling themselves the reason why society is this way this group of people is because of that group of people because of that, that group, group of people. people exactly you see and what i'm saying that group of people and it's but i think at the end of the day some of some people just want to be in a box so they can have that victim mindset and tell themselves the reason why i am not where it's i want the to, victim mindset or the superiority mindset. mindset that's it and they're like the reason why i am where i am is because of this all responsibility falls on, on that it's right. their fault not right. mine it's someone get else's the fuck fault. out of here i hate when you wake up every day and you make every single <sighs> choice up until the point you close your eyes and go to sleep. Exactly. That's crazy. It's all it's all about choice. That's crazy. It's all about right. choice, man. That's crazy. I man. love that. I love it. And it's like shit that held me and you back and mom back and and, and everybody that we know back. I mean, every a lot of people that we've interviewed are struggling, but they're pushing through. Because they know there, that there's something at the end right. that's, that's great for them. They're not using... I haven't heard, oh, I'm going to give up or yeah. this is what's holding me back exactly. or this system of... And it's just like... They're not using their race, their religion, their background, their anything that... that the, the Not being able to find a job, not being able to do this. No, to hold they them took back. responsibility for the things that they could control in their lives exactly. and they maximized on that. Exactly. To move themselves forward. Understanding that, yes, there are 8 billion people in the world and... There are shit people in the world. Yep. And they will do everything in their power to, to hold you back. To hold you back. Yep. But at the end of the day, you make the choice. Yeah. No, I you agree. make the choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're not holding a gun to your head and say, sit down at home, don't work. You know? No, I agree, man. I agree. Ooh, but moving on from that, they fired the two biggest perpetrators of that bullshit you think uh you think that was like part of their plan or absolutely it? dude what was it are they gonna start like their own thing well here's on what you youtube understand. <laughs> yeah, of course you already know yeah come on man yeah. their careers aren't over yeah their careers are it's just a new new chapter a new era yep but uh the funniest thing though was uh i saw this black rock owns shares of course they do in dominion but wait Black Rock, Rock. Black Rock also owns shares in Vox. Yep. So Black Rock sued themselves <laughs> <laughs> to make their own money. So they didn't lose money. Fifty thousand. Black Rock owns fifty thousand companies. Come on. If, like I said, you have to pay attention in between. Ooh. If you don't pay attention in between the lines, then you're gonna ignore everything that that's going crazy. on. They are literally suing themselves to make their that own is money. Crazy. But we say this and we're crazy. That's crazy. But I can understand from Rupert Murdoch's perspective. It's yeah. like, yeah, you got all this money and shit. But it's like, you got, what was it, three or four companies lined up to sue you? Yep. And I think... They probably own them too. Dominion was the first. <laughs> but that's the thing. That could, This could be outside of Rupert Murdoch's control. Gotcha. 
You see what I'm saying? Because, like, I could be the puppet master. You know, like, BlackRock could be, like, the puppet master. He doesn't care who's getting burned. So if they lose, like, let's say, for example, I'm not just throw a random number. They, they lose $3 million, they're still going to be making twenty. So that $3 million means nothing to them. All right. Exactly. So. so they fired Tucker Carlson and then, okay, no. no Don okay. Lemon. Because, you know, they want to they wanna dress it up and they, put some spices. They fired. They didn't fire him. They uh, let, let him, him go. go. They let Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson. No, no, they fired Don Lemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker was hurt. He went straight to Twitter and started fucking shit on him. <laughs> But yeah, I like for them, them two, I think they were like number one perpetrators of that whole culture war shit. Of course. Number one. And it's worse because it's not over because they're just going to move to a different platform. Yeah, it's true, but 90% of that was propagated to boomers. Yeah, that's true because they're, they're the majority of the vote. That's watching cable television. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That's true. And they don't know anything about Rumble, YouTube, or anything right. like that. Come on, bro. You think you're going to teach them how to... <laughs> nah. They're like, I'm old. I'm at the end of my life. I ain't ready to learn some more shit. <laughs> now all they got left is Fox and Friends. Yep. And, and Sean Hannity. Is Sean Hannity still there? I don't know. I don't watch... Uh, no, I don't think I, We don't have cable, remember? I don't think he's there. But, yeah. You got Fox and Friends. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> And then, of course, Don Lemon. It was just like it was the whole victim thing. Yep. I thought was it? Did he say it's every he was segment a, was? On. Is it because he? Was no, black? no, no. It's not. He didn't say anything. Okay, right. I'm just telling you what Tucker Carlson did is what Don Lemon did, but for the other side of for it, opposite. All right. right. So super hard, super sensitive. Right. All right. So what? Was it, was it's it like the, it's because he's black. It's because he's da da da. It's because this. Uh-huh. And because that. And yeah. it's just like, yo, shut the fuck up, Bruh. man. Like, and that, then of course, like you said. Both sides are going to eat it up. They're going to believe it. And they're going to run with it. They're gonna Me personally, I'm it. just happy they're both gone. Yeah. I got tired of seeing garbage on my feed. But then they're just going to find another puppet. And fucking weirdos posting Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson clips. She was just fucking weird. It's like, this is not reality. You guys are not based in reality. Nope. You wake up every day in your singular zip code, probably drive 30 minutes to work, and never see any of this shit. At all. At all that because they're talking you sit, about. you sit behind the desk and read the piece Because you paper. sit behind the desk, you watch TV, and you heard something that happened 30,000 miles away in another state. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? They never even... And then you feel like that shit's in your backyard. See, but this is the crazy thing, too, because when you're what When you've been... Whoever's been watching Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson for as long as they've been watching them, you've never seen them once out in the field. Oh, they're brain fried yeah, right now. They, they, they feel like they're doing something once they hit that retweet or that like. <laughs> Oh, it's so trash, bro. Ooh, oh, it's so trash, oh, man. man. Fantastic. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for the cause. Uh-huh. Behind the re- desk. Behind the desk by retweeting. Yep. And sharing. That's, that's how ma- crazy. That's how change happens. Behind the that's desk. That's crazy to me, bro. Good job, guys. You're that's changing America by, by behind the desk. That's crazy so, to me. man, but uh, like I said, to, to go full circle with, with what we started the whole conversation with, it, it's just like I said, man, if we can if we can stop putting, uh, if we can stop giving ourselves the extremist or the sensitive or the checking the box mindset and it actually work together, then we would be able to move forward as a society. But everything in media keeps pushing it back and then people would just eat it up. I'm not saying everybody needs to be a shepherd, but a sheep. I mean, I'm not saying no. A shepherd. A shepherd is someone who leads the sheep. But that's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. Because you said not everybody. Not everybody's a sheep. Right. 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 But what I'm saying is not everybody. uh, everybody. Well, no one needs to be a shepherd. We should just lead by how we want to be treated treated. as humans. Humans. You know what I'm saying? Basic rights to the to housing to living. Income, yeah, respect, dignity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who gives a fuck what you're wearing? Who gives a fuck what's between your legs? That's that's why. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, or your title, or your title. Because sometimes people lead with their title. Right. It's like, no, you're just the best at doing working in this system. Yeah. So we've elevated you to lead these group of people, mm-hmm. not to propagate what you believe. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like it should be sy- systemic. Like, 
you should be improving people's lives systemically. Mm -hmm. You know? Not socially. What the fuck does that matter? If systemically you protected and defended all human lives, no one would be doing this shit. Yeah. No one would be targeting individuals for radical with radical ideologies. Yep. I agree. If systemically you you protected human rights and human dignity and the access to to enlighten oneself through education and jobs and stable income and housing and food security. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what fucking matters. Because at the end of the day, if you hurt someone because of their identity, you're violating a human right. Right, yeah. A human right. Because at the end of the day, that's what we are. Human. I don't care what weird-ass title you want to give yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You're a human. When I reference you, when I speak on you, I'm going to address you by your name. name. Not your pronouns. I'm going to say your name not because that's who you not, are. Not your gender, not your right. sex. And then we're adding extra right. cis now. You're so not a description. Like, you're a name. You're a person. You're a human. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just shit like that. And that's why it's like, I'm tired of Like, I, I don't, I don't like hearing that crap. It's exhausting. Bro. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Because it's like. I'm not on either of your side. I'm on humanity's side. Yeah. And in humanity, everyone is equal. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. There's a reason why we can procreate with every single other person on the planet. Because yep. we're one fucking being. Yep. You know, and not like these crazy fucking categories. That's so weird to me. And I will always say that. And, and the sad thing is, it always goes back to the whole... That's why I can't wait for aliens. As crazy as that sounds, yeah, I'm crazy too. Yeah, I can't wait for aliens because it'll make us realize none of this means shit. It, none of it matters. None of it matters. None of it matters. None of this because matters, like you said, bro. they see us. You, you telling them my, uh, I I'm am this. this da, 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 my, da, da, pro, da. my pronouns are this. They don't care. Yeah, they're, they're gonna shoot. Oh, you. I'm the president. No, you're just a cockroach in a suit. Yep. That's it. And I have to eliminate. And I need to eliminate it. Yep. You're just a cockroach in a suit. You're a cockroach in the island. You're just a darker cockroach. You're a whiter cockroach. <laughs> I love like, it. Like, that's it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, where are the aliens at, bro? Can can they come and, like, enlighten us, so man? Can, yeah, so they can get... Like, damn. How are we so advanced but so fucking remedial mentally, bro? And that's, that's crazy. And you're, you're correct because I think that's what it is. That's the only thing that can... Get There's it. no other society, no other yeah. form of being, and that's societal it. structure we can look towards and be like, that's the right way. This is the most efficient way. This is the most beneficial way mm -hmm. to to grow as a species, as a as a as, as a human as race. A race. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's sad. And that's sad because we hold ourselves back because of that dumb shit, man. Not just that. Like I said, again, too, the separation. And I, like you said, if there was aliens, we would all unite. Mm -hmm. I don't even know about that, dude. <laughs> they can be like, nah, we're going we gonna to all go this way. You can go that way. <laughs> oh, man, because you got people praying to the aliens, bro. Fantastic, bro. Because <laughs> even in that instance, you know what I'm saying? Like, but if they came here to just wipe everyone out, like, oh. Hey, yeah. that's why I say sometimes. I wouldn't be mad if we got wiped out. I wouldn't out. be mad. If we got wiped out by an I asteroid. wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't because then we could start all over and all this bullshit would have been gone. I wouldn't be mad. Like, if an alien race came, like, clearly they figured something out that we can't. Yeah. <laughs> we can't figure out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That their whole entire planet is united in destroying us. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's why I said I can't wait for humans to go to space. We're going to fuck everything up, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That is the only time we will be truly united as a species. To go fuck other planets up. <laughs> oh, man. He's stupid. No, that's the no, only no, thing. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Agree, that's the man. only thing that, that beats out identity politics. Like, just the selfish wanting yeah. of resources. You know what I'm saying? Of other people's shit. Yeah. But, uh, again, too... Um, 
the in, the individualism of it all. That's the, I think that's the biggest issue in, in society. Mm-hmm. And if if we can focus on ourselves and elevate ourselves and stop worrying about everything else that doesn't matter, then we, we need can, to be yeah. Then we can move forward. Yeah. But no, yeah. no. But that was uh that that's was very uh, sir. Uh, I don't know, bro. No, so, you're just speaking your someone's mind. Someone's gonna man. hate me for it. Uh, <laughs> but we understood. <laughs> we, yeah, we understand what this is. And when 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 Vic does clip portions of this video, especially the most important ones, then we can actually have a conversation. Yeah, hey, it's just like it's tough, man. It it's like who are you trying to impress, bro? Like, what do you? What do you? <laughs> Because I think when we when we give power to too, we should be fighting for human rights, bro. When we give power to uh, too much power to uh, an ideology, yeah, it, it overcorrects, and then the uh, people come in and have to recorrect it, and then that's when the fight begins, right? Because it's no, that it, always it, happens. Yeah, it's right. gone too far. So it's like with anything, with, there's no balance in anything. No, we overcorrect, no we anything. overcompensate, and then when people come in to recorrect it they get attacked they get canceled they get all this stuff like that and it's like do you not i still feel like canceling it's a, it was such a bullshit thing it was it's just like bro you canceled them yep. <laughs> in your mind you, you canceled, canceled them. them but they're gonna make money somewhere else yep. when have you ever heard of someone who was canceled dirt broke poor on the street homeless zero zero the end that's how effective cancellation is yeah. you know what i'm saying that's how effective cancellation is because you're not even opening the door for not even dialogue but for change yeah or like hey where did this person fall through the cracks that they believed this was okay exactly they believed this ideology that hurts humanity was okay and then show them how it hurts humanity. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it lovely. makes you feel good. It makes you feel all giggly and special. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You're That's fighting for my rights, not human rights. My rights. I'm fighting for human rights, bro. <laughs> I'm a humanitarian. Yep. Bro. What the fuck? But what the fuck? What's up, man? No, I mean... I just went on that whole 80-minute rant. Nah, you're good, man. You, we, Like I said, we kind of just summed it up because it's like we're... we're it's being, it's being, They're trying to shove it all down our throats, and it's like, I see what's going on, and I'm not focused on that. I'm yeah, focused. I just want to make money and help people. people. And not do nothing. Right. <laughs> I don't want to not do nothing. I just want to make money help and people. help people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, like, but don't. It's too much. Was it shot and fruit or sh- fruit, fruit and shot, shot and fruit, shot and fruit, or something like that? Um, but it's I, like we we want to find joy in in retribution and people suffering because they disagree with us. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like you could be racist, but you're fucking starving yeah. and you're hungry, and I see you're gonna die. I'm gonna buy you food. Exactly. And you could still hate me. Well, because it's like um, I'm black. Perfect or example is like uh, Mr. Beast, like. Regardless of who he helps, people are always upset at him. They're going to be upset at him. Oh. Whether he helps people get their it's teeth so fixed, their vision fixed, it's so dumb. Uh, buying shoes for the yeah, African kids, it's so dumb. they get upset regardless. And then it's always a, it's a pub- publicity, publicity stuff. So it sparks an entire... Okay, then you do something. Yeah, exactly. You publicity... Stop yeah. complaining yeah, and do something. something. Do something. You, look, people complain that the rich do nothing. Do when something. the rich does something, do you something. complain. Yeah, do something. <laughs> it's really that easy. You That's hate it fucking... so much. There's more of you who are complaining than there are the rich people. Do something. exactly. Do something exactly. No, I agree. I agree. If your ideology had legs to stand on, something would happen. Do something. If not, then shut the fuck up and let them do what they want to do, and stop saying it's for clout. Or go do your own thing. Or yeah, go do your own thing. But then, what's going to happen? They're going to be placed in that same category. <laughs> you right. see what I'm saying? Right. It doesn't matter. It's a lose lose. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Let's say, yeah, uh, you you do complain about the rich doing something, uh, and then you do get up and do something. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, everyone's a villain. Exactly. There's no all good. There's no, no all evil. evil. 
Everyone's a villain. Exactly. You just refuse to admit it. Everyone refuses to admit it. Yeah. Everyone's a villain. Everyone is a villain. And we just aim to be good. Yeah. We aim to be good. We aim to be better. But everyone is a villain. Yep. Whether you're trying to indoctrinate someone with your ideology, that's villainous. Yep. You should let individuals create their own identity and, and be, like be who they just fucking feel like it. let them make that decision for themselves right. don't don't force it down their throats before they even have a chance for right. their brain to develop right and then they believe they're growing up believing this but then 80 and 90 percent of the world is saying no you're wrong for thinking like right that. and in their mind it's like no you're wrong for thinking like that because this is what my parents taught me that's tough. If my kid wants to be a wild animal, go ahead, bro. Go live with the tigers yep. and shit. Go live in the woods. You ain't living at my house. You ain't living. No, nah, you want to live with the animals. You can. You can go sleep outside. You can eat the grass. You can do whatever the but fuck wait, you want. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Human rights is child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> you what? That's child abuse. <laughs> no, it. no. If you if, if you abuse. identify as such, that's what you're gonna live as. Because humans live in this house, not animals. Bro, that's true. <laughs> That's true. See, Bruce, you got promoted. You're yeah, not an animal. Exactly. <laughs> this man's sleepy. He's like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, Bruce is not. He's like, he, out, he elegantly eats at the table right. with us. Right. Fork and knife and all. Hell yeah. What the fuck? So, but um, we'll, we'll end it on that. Yeah. We'll end it on yeah. that. Yeah. I think we got We gave him an earful. Well, yeah. I gave him an earful. Yeah. Because your boy don't know when to shut the fuck up. Nah, out. it's good, man. It's like... Your boy don't know when to shut the fuck I, up. Like I said, um, we, we speak about everything. Sometimes you just have to talk about certain mm -hmm. topics like that. And I know it's like sensitive to a lot of people, but it's like, at what point can you say and not say Yeah, anything? that's true. You no, see what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. It. Exactly. Fuck so, it. And then, of course, when we do have these full table conversations, mm -hmm. people are going to bring it up. And mm -hmm. it's not like we can avoid it forever. So... Yeah. Um... But no, man, um, I, I think this discussion was great. Again, we're celebrating our one year. Thank you guys always, always for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to take a look at our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the full episode. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the video. And of course, ring the notification bell. So you can be notified when we release a new um, video. But again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye. -bye,